I've got the Ricoh GR 3X HDF with me. I've been shooting with this for some of the travels that I've been on and also assignment and uh, I figured that we should have a chat about this camera. Why is it so exciting? Let's get started. And when I say chat guys, it means that here I'm talking to you, you guys comment and I'll respond back. Let's have a conversation and a discussion about the Ricoh GR3X HDF. Because frankly, I'm fairly new to the Ricoh GR3 system and I've been using it for the past two weeks. Uh, this is a loan unit from Ricoh Malaysia. I've got an idea why it is quite a hype camera, but perhaps you guys know a little bit better than me. So comment below. So, Ricoh refreshed the camera earlier this year with the introduction of the Highlight Diffusion Filter which introduced a subtle glow, bloom to the highlight of the image. Otherwise, the rest of the camera is the same good old GR3 and eventually the GR3X. This camera, while it packs a punch in terms of image quality, because if I show you this photograph, you would think that it was shot with a big professional looking camera that the pros are using. And then, if you tell me that this particular photograph is taken with the Ricoh GR3X, ain't no way. It's such a stealthy of a camera. So small, so tiny, so unassuming, so stealth. But that picture quality that comes out from it is spectacular. And this camera would decide if you would be going on a shoot with a sling bag or a backpack, just like this which sometimes when we do travel to backpack or not would greatly increase the experience of exploring a city and it's like the Rico engineers came out to play and they say well we know about professional cameras let's make it fun let's make it small let's strip out all the redundancy of a camera like dual SD cards or big batteries you know make it small make it stealthy make it black make the autofocus good enough that people don't complain but good enough to get good pictures <laughs> oh and also sharp lens sharp lens single focus uh, sing single focal length <laughs> come up with the GR3X another focal length tighter for portraits they say <laughs> and eventually, hey, let's make it a little bit more filmic and perhaps not so digital. Put in a HDR filter on it. Let's go to town. Let's play. And you get the GR3X HDF. I'm quite sure the engineers over at Rico are way smarter than I am. I just think that they left in all the crucial items that makes a camera great and leave out the rest to make the camera small. What a great balancing act, I must say. And speaking of stealth, it's such a small camera. I'm going to bring it into our new Apple store here in Malaysia to sort of document what's happening in there and try not to annoy anybody. Let's go. It's certainly the security guard. <laughs> and the HDF filter. Here are some photographs shot with the HDF on. It is a subtle glow at the edge of the highlight of an image to give that filmic look to the photograph. The glow also softens up skin tones and surfaces for that complementary, not so digital looking. It's a filter that recently, in the past one two years, have been having a comeback. In, in the previous installment of the GR3 cameras, they also included the ND filter into the package. Whilst the ND filter is great to slow down the shutter, I personally think that the highlight diffusion filter is a filter that I may use more than the ND filter. But of course, we can obviously turn off the HDF filter. And we, when we say HDF filter, it's like saying filter, filter at the end. It just doesn't make sense. But if you like the GR3 and the GR3X look, it's still the same old GR3X. You have like dials over here that says U1, U2, U3. And that's that are the presets that we can be using for different, different film recipe. And that's one of the reasons why the GR3 
X and the GR3 system is such a popular camera out there because there's a huge community like you guys out there that's watching this YouTube video are exploring with different color a different kind of uh, settings to the camera that give a different look in your JPEGs which means out of straight out of the camera you don't need to edit and if you are shooting raw you can select the black and whites the soft black and whites the positive the negative film after the fact that you actually shot with the camera you know take away the hdf filter it is still the good old gr3 and the gr3x the on off responsiveness is amazing you have a sharp lens of the gr3x and also the gr3 we have very good image quality out of the sensor this APS-C camera the ISO on the higher side produces grains that is really appealing you have all these recipe film recipe that is interesting straight out of the camera pocketable size stealth there's a lot to pack in a camera like this <laughs> but of course the original GR3 and the GR3 X has been a while and if you have used anything that's in 2024 especially on the professional level you will feel that the autofocus is a little bit more sluggish you know it is good enough for us to be out there capturing uh, it's just waiting for a good update now if you are a professional photographer and have been using really fast cameras you'll feel that the limiting of the autofocus in it you'll feel that the battery is just not enough but if your main camera is a phone camera well if you are intrigued with what a pocket camera can do this is certainly going to be a very good purchase but if you already own the GR3 and the GR3X I mean why are you even here you already know that this is a fantastic camera minus of maybe what you're missing out the HDF filter not a big upgrade perhaps maybe you're much more interested in waiting for the GR4 whenever it's going to be coming out now the package of a Ricoh GR3X essentially for me is a stealthy, small, fun camera that produces really good quality images because of the APS-C sensor and because it's sharp and the ISO is brilliant, okay? It's fun, right? <laughs> I can see myself using this a lot, especially on travels like uh, end of this year, I've got a travel that's, uh, that I'm looking forward to. That, you know, having a camera like this will be fun. Uh, instead of bringing such a big ass camera that I have Alright, so guys, thank you for watching this video That's it We should just twiddle our time for the Ricoh GR4 While we wait well, Otherwise, just go out and shoot more, I reckon If you have the GR3 So subscribe, like and I'll see you guys on the next video Ciao